Did you know around 50% of visitors are lost within the first 7 seconds of visiting your website? Welcome to Ben's Business Podcast episode number 13. Today I'm going to be answering the question of what's the most important component to be concerned about on your website? So the answer to that question of what's the most important component to be concerned about on your website I would say probably number one is to, when you have them at your website, is to grab their attention as quickly as possible. Um, get the visitor's attention because they're very likely to uh, make up their mind whether to stay on that website within the first seven seconds, which is the seven second rule. And that's like a test I put uh, any, anyone that do a site review on their website, I put the website through that seven second test. A human's attention span is becoming worse, or is worse than, according to scientists, uh, than a goldfish. It's getting even worse with our like our addiction to smartphones and technology. So you have to remember this principle of how bad our attention span is. Just think about when you're browsing or surfing the internet, you'll notice that you're, you you jump, you have all these tabs open. I know that I do anyway. And we jump from one website to the other, read one article, get halfway through it, or jump through the bullet points. We're, we're just surfing the web. We're not all, like if we're searching something on Google, we land on a website and we can quickly click back and go to the next website. So make sure that you have something compelling enough to get that person to stay on the website. I think that's so important. And it's something we forget about. Um, we go ahead and build all this content on a website and we don't, we forget to distribute it for one, but we build all this great content. like no matter how good your content is, if the, you can't get them from through the home page to go on to the next page, then all that content's lost if you're not distributing it other, in other ways and they're not finding that through your website because you've not kept them on the website. So there's no point in having 50 great articles if no one's reading them. And it's the same goes for your YouTube videos. Um, have a look at the stats. If you upload any videos on Facebook or YouTube, have a look at the stats and just see the, the retention rate of your viewers. You'll see it's actually a lot lower than you might imagine. Um, and I think people watch on max videos for about one minute and then they start to really drop off on YouTube uh, videos. And I've been doing YouTube in for years and I, I can see this trend. So I try and keep my videos a wee bit shorter now. So get their attention within that seven seconds or they'll click the back button and go somewhere else. As I said, uh, roughly half of your visitors are likely to leave your website. So just make sure you consider that. And some solutions for fixing this to actually keep their attention on the website is tell them who you are. So that's, the, that's part of the, when I do a free site review for, for people. So on my website, onlinemarketingconsultant.co.uk, I offer value up front. I say the word free, which is the, the magic word when you're trying to get attention. Use the word free if you can for like some free call to action or free advice, free value, a free video. Um, and that, that's a great way to grab attention. That's what I use. But the point here that I'm trying to make is when I do a seven second test, I always want to find out who is this company? What do they do? And like, what's their mission? What's their purpose for existing? And if I can't fig figure that out in seven seconds, they, they fail the test. And they need to tell me, like, not just have their logo up there that doesn't tell me anything. Maybe have a tagline underneath that logo explaining the things that you do. So, like, I could say websites, traffic, and sales underneath uh, the, the logo. Or I can offer that free marketing and website review. And that's kind of telling them what to do next. So just get it, be concise as possible and use short sentences as short as possible, uh, especially in that introduction area of the website. So... Another, another idea, number two, uh, on fixing the problem of, gra of people losing attention on your website is there's a, there's a concept called above the fold. So I've got a couple of newspapers here, for example. So you'll see that newspapers are usually folded like this and you need to open them up like that to read this, the bottom part, part. And that's just how we fold them up because they're really long. And it's similar to websites. You can think of this as like the landing page and you have to scroll down to see the, the more content. So we, we do try and squeeze as much content on our homepage as possible. But I would re recommend reducing that, especially in this area, have more sort of white space. But this is the kind of layout that newspapers go for to grab attention. 
they actually aim for, and the same as websites, the top left of the website, that's where our attention seems to drift. It's maybe because of newspapers, but this is uh, kind of scientifically proven, that our attention goes to here. So you see their headlines here. It's nice. No, this is tip number three on improving the attention is make it nice, bold, clear font with that spacing around it. And you'll see that a lot of people tend to read the, the headline and then go to the next page because they can get a lot out of the, the headline and even the subheadline before they go and read all of this. So uh, make sure your headline is really compelling enough to get them to read on or to watch your video or to take that action that you want them to take because this is where their attention is going to go and this is the space in the top left of the website. So that, that was tip number three basically is have that. I'll just show you another example. So you see that's the same again on this newspaper. It's folded again. It's just how we naturally do it. So that's why it's called above the fold on a website. So if you just to scroll down, then that's below the fold. So all that section that you have above the fold, that's your chance to get their attention. And they're, they're most likely not going to scroll down. So take that into consideration. Again, another headline, revitalize your engine. Nice, short and sharp, punchy. Uh, headline they're probably not going to read this most likely based on data um, but again you can see that's in the top left and this is adverts I tend to rip them out of uh, magazines if I like some adverts that I see so the next one is it's probably not more it's this isn't really about grabbing attention now it's a step kind of you should think about in front of before you even get their attention you need to make sure your website's loading fast enough especially on mobile. So I have a wee example here of a website I've done a, someone requested for a free site review through Online Marketing Consultant. So I went and done that and I, when I do that I go through a, a process and one of the steps is I go on to the Google mobile speed test, so the mobile website speed test and it's a wee tool on Google. I think it's called Think with Google mobile speed test. And you see that this website took 20 seconds to load uh, which they've got it in red, it would go green if it was good. So it says that's poor speed. 35% um, of estimated visitors have been lost because of the, due to the loading speed of the website. So before you can even grab their attention, you need to actually get them to uh, load up your website. So if your website's taking 20 seconds to load and you're losing 35% of the people who are gonna look at that content, you can't even grab their attention. So that's the first thing to really consider as well is make sure your website's loading fast. One step tip to doing that is installing, I think it's the W, no, sorry, the E, W, 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 uh, WordPress plugin if you use a WordPress website, but there's lots of, that's an image op optimizing plugin. So it optimizes your images, and it's almost like compressing them, like a zip file, it compresses the files to, for like from megabytes to, uh, down to like, from 10 megabytes to one megabyte. Um, and it just makes the website load so when they're scrolling down your website or first land on your website, the images are compressed and they can extract as they scroll or move about or load up your website. So it just makes the website load up a lot faster and that can reduce it by 10 seconds. And Google, that will actually help the SEO, the ranking of the website in Google as well. So that will first get you, help you get the click through Google and then you've got the website that actually loads fast enough for people's attention span um, unlike the, the goldfish's attention span, uh, it's really poor, and you actually then can grab their attention to get them to read on. So there's a lot, all these barriers stopping the visitors that are going to your website, and it's just fixing those wee things. So image optimization, but if you take that mobile speed test, that'll give you a few extra suggestions that Google can look at your coding of your website, and then you can pass it on to your developer to fix. So hopefully that'll help your SEO and get more attention on your website and get them to read more and even buy your products or fill out your, uh, your contact form. So next week I'm probably going to do the next part, once you've got their attention, what the next step is from there uh, in next week's uh, Ben's Business Podcast. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, please submit them like this one that came in and I'll answer them on Facebook Live uh, for you uh, and I can even specify it towards your website and help you with your your help you grow your business with SEO. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.